Hey everyone's going, Brian here with another Java game programming tutorial. So the last time we left off, we made some more adjustments to our UI. And this time we're going to introduce a new menu slash new UI to our editor. I was looking at my map the other day and I'm like, it's looking pretty, actually this isn't the map that we're playing on, but I was looking at my, uh, my grid and it looks pretty uh, wonky. So I wanted to change it and spruce it up a bit, make it look like an actual tower defense map. And so I went to the editor and I realized we've been totally ignoring our editor for the last, like, who knows, 20 or 30 episodes. There's just a black nothingness over here. And uh, the way we switch our tiles is still the arrow keys, which is super, like, antiquated now. So I want to really quick make a menu just like we did for our tower picker UI, but for tiles in the editor. Uh, also, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the this huge chunk of text right here and maybe touch this get this a little bit cleaner um, I want to shorten this line to maybe like a third or less uh, in length so let's go ahead and start doing that right now the first step I think would be not calling this every single time you know in, in programming you're not supposed to rewrite the same thing multiple times usually there's a quick way to do it so instead of calling get menu tower picker get menu tower oh, I got text get menu tower picker get menu tower picker you know Six times there, more times down here. We're just going to store a local variable uh, that stores our menu. So private menu, and um, I'm actually going to call this tower picker menu. And I think we should rename our tower picker UI to just game UI, right? Because if we're going to do this the right way, the way we set it up is that our UI is for the entire screen. Uh, in this case, we're in the game class, so the entire game will have one UI, and then we'll have little submenus for that. Uh, we'll need to import menu here. Make sure to import the UI.UI one, not the java.awt. The UI.UI is the one that we made uh, for package UI and then class UI, which holds our menu class. Uh, game UI, tower picker menu. So let's go and wherever we put tower picker UI, we're going to update that, but we don't need to update all this because we're going to get rid of this in a second. What we need is right here, game UI equals new UI, and game UI dot create menu um, tower picker, yeah. And I think that's it because now we're actually gonna need to update this as well. Game UI dot draw. Now what we're gonna do is you see everything else. We're not really affecting the UI directly, we're just using the UI to get to the menu. And then we're doing something to the menu. Uh, like right here, right here, yeah. So after we create our new UI for our game, and then we create our menu for Tower Picker, Tower Picker menu, we're gonna save that. We're gonna save that. How should we do this? Uh, tower Picker menu equals is there any method we have that returns a menu right now? No. Okay. So. Oh yeah, right here. Get menu. Perfect. All right. Equals game UI dot get menu tower picker or whatever you named it right here. So now we have our tower picker menu. And we can replace tower picker UI dot get menu tower picker with just tower picker menu, like so, and it should work. So in fact, I'm just going to copy tower picker menu and replace all these. Actually, these buttons aren't even working yet. So let's go ahead and delete these bottom four if you have those like me. Right now, we just have a cannon blue and a cannon ice button that are working. Um, down here, instead of tower picker UI dot get menu tower picker, we can replace it again with just tower picker menu and tower picker menu. So let's see if this still works. All right, no errors yet. Clicked, can still place it, perfect. So we've already shortened those lines uh, quite a bit. Um, that's a lot less typing in the future we need to do, but I think we can get it even shorter. The add button method right now, as you can see, we're just doing zero, zero here, which is totally useless. And not only that, but we're passing in um, a quick load call here um, when we could just be passing the string and having the method itself load the texture. So let's go to our 
menu. You can see we're in the add button part of the menu. So that's in our UI class. And we have get button, this button clicked, add button right here. I'm gonna go back into our menu down here. Menu, add button. Let's go ahead and make a quick add. Public void quick add. It's gonna take a, oops, a string for the button name and a string for the button texture name. And we're gonna make a new button, button B equals new button with the name, um, what's next in our constructor? The name, texture, X and Y. Name, texture is gonna be quick load of our button texture name. And the X and Y, as you'll recall, we're moving it anyways with these methods right here. So we're just gonna put that to zero, zero. Okay, now after that, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this add button in case we wanna add a specific button with a special X and Y. Um, and we'll have quick add in case we just wanna do the string name and string texture name. So we're gonna make another method here that actually sets the button. So private void set button and it will take a button as an argument. And we're gonna copy all this stuff right here and erase it from there and put it in set button. And now we're gonna call set button inside each of these methods here. So set button, we're gonna pass it button B and right here, set button, pass it button B. So now we have two different ways to make a button in our menu. We can either actually make the entire button ourselves from whatever class we're in, say the game class, uh, like we have been right here, where we create our own button with X and Y and all that stuff and quick load of texture and uh, pass that in, and then we'll set the button automatically in this method. Or what we're gonna do, uh, at least right now in the game UI class or the game class, is we're just gonna pass in a string for the name and a string for the texture, and we're gonna let uh, the menu create the button and then set it appropriately. So let's go ahead and update that now. Uh, tower picker menu, instead of add button, we're just gonna do a quick add. The name will be, call it a uh, blue cannon. And the, te oops, didn't wanna do a substring there. And the texture I believe is cannon blue full. We'll see if that works, it could be wrong. And we'll do the same thing for our ice tower as well. So instead of add button, let's go ahead and change that to quick add, call it ice cannon and ice cannon full for the texture. Now let's see if this works. It did not work. All right. Resource not. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't get the name right. Uh, what is the name for our ice tower? Oh, it's probably ice tower. Uh, cannon ice full and cannon blue full. Okay. So instead of ice cannon, it's cannon ice full. Now let's try it. Nope, another error. No pointer exception in UI line 99. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. It's right here. Uh, in our game update 47, yeah. So we didn't update this part of our game class yet. <sighs> if tower picker menu dot is button clicked cannon blue. Oh, it's just because we renamed it from cannon. Okay. So you can name it however you want. If you want to keep it in line with the texture names, you might want to change this to cannon blue and this to cannon ice. Uh, I'm going to go with a more easy for me, uh, recognizable approach. I'm going to rename these to blue cannon and this to ice cannon. You just need to make sure that this matches this and this matches this. And keep in mind, eventually, I'm, I'm actually thinking this is a good time to say this. Eventually what we're gonna do, like I said, is just have one line that creates both the uh, name of the button, the texture and the action. Cause right now it's separated. Right now we're creating the button up here and then we're checking the action down here. And so for every time we make a new button, we need a line up here as well as a line down here, actually two lines down here. I'm trying to figure out the easiest, most efficient way to combine these two things. If anyone else out there watching has a idea on how we could do that or actually tried and implemented it and it worked, uh, let me know. There's a few solutions I've come up with, but none of them are 
super sticking out to me. So we're not going to do that quite yet. Anyways, make sure that this matches that and so on. So let's go and try that now. All right, no errors. Play it. And it works. So that was super quick, right? Good turnaround from the beginning of the episode to now. We shortened this line by a lot. And now when we make a new button, we just need to do quick add a button name and the name of the texture. Super quick. So let's go ahead and see how quick that really is by going to our editor. And we're going to do the same thing that we did in our game class. Uh, if we go to our editor right now, we have no background here, no buttons, and nothing to really uh, choose what we're drawing. So let's first make a UI, private UI, editor UI, and a menu, private menu. Uh, I'll name it tile picker menu. And we'll need to import these, import UI, import UI.UI. And just like our game class, we're going to make a setup UI method. So private void setup UI. And we're going to call that at the bottom of our constructor right there. And first, we're going to initialize the editor UI equals new UI. And then editor UI dot create menu. Uh, we will call it the tile picker, the X, actually we can go ahead and copy paste this. Uh, it's gonna be in the same spot. So I'm gonna copy all this right after tower picker and replace this like so. All right, so we have a new menu now. Now we need to set our tile picker menu variable to this new menu. So just like in our game class, we'll go tile Ooh, that was hard to say. Tile picker menu equals editor UI dot get menu tile picker. Okay. Now we can create a couple buttons. Let's try one real quick. Tile picker menu dot quick add. Uh, the name will be grass. Texture is, I'm looking to the left, grass 64. Should probably make these more recognizable. That's fine. Grass 64. And now we just need a uh, way to check if we're clicking it. So we'll go ahead and copy that from our game class as well. If mouse.next, do we have that over here? No. No, no, no. We have if keyboard is next. So let's go ahead and copy this entire block right here and replace our current uh, mouse input. And. We're just going to substitute some stuff in here. So if tile picker menu is button clicked grass, then how did we uh, change the tiles? I don't remember. Is there method? It's going to be a method in here. Move index. That's what it was. Oh, instrument. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. So before, since we didn't have a visual representation, we were just do, using left and right to move uh, our index. But instead, what we're going to do now is actually choose the types manually. So that's the types. Uh, OK, when we set a tile, we're using the index. OK, OK. So instead of moving the index, we're just going to change the index to a specific thing. So grass is 0. So index equals 0. Right? Does that make sense? Let's see. Let's see if that works. Uh, we will also need to actually draw. Um, so let's make an else. If mouse clicked, if that else set tile. All right, let's see if this works. This might get an error. Let's try it. Okay, no errors yet. Nothing being drawn up here. What happens if we click? Okay, we're still drawing grass. So we still have this working, the set tile. Why is the button not being drawn though? It's because we're not drawing our UI. So update, do we have a draw method in here? No, it's all in our update method. Let's make a draw method right here. Private void draw. And in here, we're gonna draw our game UI how do we do this in the game class? 
game UI dot draw. Oh, right. Editor UI. My bad. Editor UI dot draw. And at the bottom of our update method, actually maybe right here, we will call draw and we should move this grid dot draw to our draw method. Okay. So now when we start our update, we're going to draw, which draws our grid and our editor UI on top of that. So let's go ahead and hit play, play, oops, <laughs> play, editor, and we have our tile up there. It looks kind of weird, actually, next to this. We'll have to spruce that up a little bit. But if we draw, it works. If we click it, I'm afraid I might get an error. No? Okay. Now let's try two tiles and see if that still works. Um, let's go ahead and make a new button right here. Tile picker menu dot quick add dirt. That'll be dirt 64. And can we do else ifs in here? We'll probably want to set up a switch statement with cases. We'll do that next time. Else if, no, we can't do that. All right, so we'll have to do if and then open bracket, close bracket, else if tile picker menu dot is button clicked dirt and then else i know i'm writing this in a weird order but here this is what's gonna look like right here if you want to just make sure you got this right here uh we'll change it to a switch statement maybe we should right now no we'll do it next time we'll do it next time uh but we have an if you know grass is picked index equals zero else if, meaning that it wasn't grass, uh, if dirt is picked, then index equals one. I believe that's what dirt is, right? Yep. Um, otherwise, set the tile, because we're clicking and we're not clicking a button, we're gonna draw. So let's go and run the game. Editor. We have two tiles, let's see if this works. Click the dirt, and we're drawing dirt, cool. Now, what might cause an error is if we click over here, not in a button, let's try it. Yes, that'll cause an error. Uh, index out of bounds because we're drawing to a tile that is like off the screen. Um, that's kind of an easy fix, but we'll do that next time just because I feel like this has been going on for a while. But we have our grass and dirt, and it's super easy to make more if you want to add the water. We'll do that real quick. Just to see. Get in the swing of things. We'll add the water tile. Tile picker menu dot quick add water. And the texture is water 64. I hope that would make sense. And right here, we said to add an else if, else if tile picker menu dot is button clicked water. What? <laughs> okay, else if open bracket, close bracket, else if open bracket, close bracket, else. There we go. And close parenthesis. Then index equals two. And that's all it takes to make a button that shows up and is clickable. And of course it automatically indents like so. Uh, click that, we're drawing water, grass up here, dirt over here. Perfect, looks great. So the next time you guys uh, see me, I will have a better looking map. And also, I think I'm going to make a better looking background uh, than the gray block we have right now. And maybe I'll put that up on uh, Patreon for people to download if they want to download that. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you all next time on Indie Programmer.